Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Imagine Prep. I'm your host, John, and today's Thursday. And I'm Alexis. This is Lando. Cambridge results from the June 2023 exam series are in. The June 2023 Cambridge exam series saw the grading of exams returning back to their pre-COVID standards, despite the fact that students sitting the exam had three prior years of tumultuous education due to the COVID pandemic. Regardless of the challenges to learning over the last three years, 94 high school students sat 195 Cambridge exams and earned a total of 88 college-ready scores and honors credit. Alumni Paul Barber and Martin Mosier earned qualifying scores in chemistry, which was the last requirements they needed to get in to get the Grand Canyon Diploma. Senior Gabriel <laughs> Gross earned his final qualification scores, putting back on track to earn the Grand Canyon Diploma at graduation in May 2024. Senior Cassandra Vanek is one exam away from earning the Grand Canyon Diploma at graduation in May 2024 and earn the highest grade possible, an A star. Only the second student in IPS history to earn this grade on the FLE. High scores on each syllabus were earned by Emily Baker, Bella Ernsberger, Gabriel Gross, Kyle Walter, Emily Wilkham, Cassandra Vanek, Max Loper, and Blake McKen. Congratulations to all of our Cambridge scholars who sat exams in the June 2023 exam series. If you have questions about the Cambridge exams, honor credits, or Grand Canyon Diploma, please see Ms. Cameron. Crochet Club will be happening every Monday after school from 3.30 to 4.30. Don't know how to crochet? It's okay. We teach. Provide yarn and crochet hooks. Just bring yourself and your creativity. Come join us. Come on, come all to the NJHS and NHS informational meeting on Thursday, August 24th at 6 p.m. in the Bistro. We'll talk about member benefits and requirements, upcoming events, and the application prog process. These nationally recognized academic and leadership societies are all about lifting others and elevating ourselves through service. Student and families are welcome. Snacks and beverages will be provided. Please contact Mrs. Lolo with any questions. There will be open gym for Varsity Girls basketball team every Wednesday from 7.30 to 9 p.m. and Thursday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Any girl who is interested in playing basketball this winter is encouraged to come. See Coach Mould or Coach Weitzel for more information. Today's storm birthdays are Nathan Bravo and Brendan Conrad. Happy birthday! Now handing it off to Grace for Throwback Thursday. So what is your name and grade? Daniel. I'm in ninth grade. <laughs> okay, can you guess who this teacher is for me? Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, is it Miss Spalding? Oh, let's what go! What do you think this is? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who is Shush. <laughs> That's Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Wait. That's Mr. Wayne! Oh, oh Miss Robinson! Sorry. Miss Wayne? Yeah. What are you talking about? Right. So, what is your name? Mr. Wayne. Okay, so I'm going to show you a teacher throw back here. Guess who it is? Okay. What do you think that is? Um. Let's go with Miss Bovin. <gasps> Mr. Wade got it correct. This is a throwback of Miss Bovin. She describes this picture as a resident staff horse girl. In this picture, she is riding a horse named Junior at the barn she grew up riding at in Naperville, Illinois. In this image, she was eight years old. This is Alba Moreno Garcia, and welcome back to Rapid Fire. Today we have, what's your name again? Lincoln. What's your grade again? Sure. All right. Lincoln, here's some questions. What's your favorite movie? Uh, the Holy uh, What's your favorite game? What's your favorite class? Uh, All right. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Alicia. Last name? Martinez. Grade? Uh, seven. What's your favorite pizza topping? Uh, pepperoni. What's your favorite game? Uh, What's your favorite day? Friday. Cool. Now passing it to Colin for question of the day. This is the question of the day. And this is? Kaylin Wrights. <laughs> what is the most overrated food in your opinion? 
the most overrated food would probably be grilled cheese. Why grilled opinion. cheese? Mm. Why grilled cheese? Grilled cheese, because it's just like a sandwich. It's like just cheese on it. Like, I feel like there's better food. It's a little overhyped. Then do my goodie chan. What is the most overrated food in your opinion? In and out. That's a restaurant lingo. It's so food. Like cheeseburger. Animal style In and out burgers. Okay, In and Out burgers. That makes sense. Now why? Why are they so overrated? They're not that great. They're just They don't taste like anything. I they're just a regular know. burger and everyone's just so high. What is the most overrated food in your opinion? Pasta. Why pasta? I just don't like pasta. For what reason? I don't like the, the cream and the uh, the cream and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Well, thank you. This is... I miss rolling. And what is the most overrated food in your opinion? Some of them what? Macaroni and chili. Can you explain why? I don't like cheese, so I don't understand the hype behind macaroni and cheese. Stay good, feel good, and be good, Storm Nation. Have a great... Day. Day. Thursday. And remember, we don't get out early today. Bye. <laughs> good morning.